Changes are constant in video games. This is especially true in beta or early access titles like Escape from Tarkov. As such, my grenade guide from earlier this year is a little outdated. Most of the info is still true, so if you're looking for a grenade guide, consider this part 2, with part 1 linked in the description. In this video we're going to take a look specifically at the new offensive grenades added to Escape from Tarkov, the RGO and the RGN. I'm Gaz, welcome to the channel, leave a like if this video is helpful. Subscribe if you're new around here and are looking for guides and tips to help you improve at Escape from Tarkov. So, patch 12.12 has been fantastic so far, and while I'll have a video coming soon about my favourite things about this patch, we're going to jump straight in with the new and very controversial RGO and RGN impact grenades. These grenades are very similar to each other with a few small differences, let's dive straight into the stats. Kicking it off we've got the RGO grenade. This one is labelled as a defensive anti-personnel frag grenade of impact action. It has a weight of 0.53 kilos and a throw strength of 65. Its explosion radius is 3 to 8 meters and contusion radius is 12 meters. It carries 85 shards of F1 shrapnel. The most interesting and the most controversial parts about both the grenades in this list is the explosion delay. The RGO has an explosion delay of 0.3 seconds on impact, which, to put it simply, means it explodes as soon as it hits an object. It will explode 3.5 seconds after pulling the pin and throwing if it doesn't hit another surface. The RGO cannot be listed on the flea market. Next up, and very similarly to the RGO, we have the RGN, an offensive anti-personnel impact frag grenade. This grenade has a weight of 0.31 kilos and a throw strength of 105. The explosion radius is 2 to 6 meters and the contusion radius is 13. It comes packed with 75 shards of RGD5 shrapnel. Again, like the RGO, the RGN will detonate within 0.3 seconds of impact or after 3.5 seconds traveling through the air and cannot be listed on the flea market. Those are the stats, which are rather confusing even to me. Let's try and make some practical sense out of this. While both grenades are pretty much the same, the RGN can be thrown further with a slightly smaller blast radius. If you're using an impact grenade, I doubt a Hail Mary is something you're going for, so I'd stick to the RGO where possible. However, if impact grenades are your thing, I would imagine it'll be a case of using what you can, especially early wipe as you'll need to get to level 3 and 4 with proper for the ability to barter for these grenades, with neither able to be sold or purchased on the flea market. I personally haven't run across anyone using these against me just yet, but as time passes and more players unlock high level traders, I expect them to become more commonplace as they are absolutely devastating at close range. Fortunately, the impact of these grenades is somewhat mitigated by the fact you now have to pull out a throwable and place it into your hands before you use it. It'll be interesting to see how prevalent these grenades will become as the wipe advances. I know I'm not looking forward to coming up against them regularly. If you found this video helpful and want a complete rundown on other grenades in EFT, check out part 1 of my grenade guide in the description below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more guides and tips. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.